Hello, my name is Philippe. I am a very big fan of Barbara Streisand and uh, making a series of uh, films where I discuss um, each one of the most important albums, the ones that I think are the most important of Barbara Streisand's career and um, certainly the ones which I think everyone must listen to at least once. So today I am discussing uh, this album which is called Songbird. So uh, the wind light, yeah. So it's uh, Barbara holding her dog Sadie and because the album title is Songbird, she wrote right under it with her own writing, sorry, couldn't find a bird. And um, uh, it's her humor, of course, but it's also a bit in response to the um, an article that appeared in the newspaper saying uh, at the time, a year before that, saying that she uh, owned uh, flocks of birds, but they flew freely in her house and just dropped you know everywhere and um and she was a bit uh, sh you know sh shocked by that um article which was completely uh false and so um this is you know her way of responding even though it's just probably when the song songbird appeared i'm sure uh in her mind she thought this is what we're gonna do this will be the title and uh, on the back of the album the real uh, uh, well, actually it was uh, yeah, on the back of the real album, you had a picture of Barbara and then all of her dogs. And she had quite a bit of dogs on her M Malibu uh, estate and um, with all their names and uh, and everything. So when I had a, a, a dog, my mother got a, a white poodle. I was looking through all of these names to find I wanted you know, the one that had the same name as Barbara's dog. And we finally called him Alfie because of the song Alfie. So um, this is, a, to me, a beautiful album for two reasons. The first one is that her voice is absolutely magical on this album. Of course, you can say Barbara's voice has always been perfect and magical. But on this album, there's something crystal clear there's just a sound plus the music plus the the orchestrations plus the choice of music that just makes her voice stand out more than anything so many years ago when you asked me which was the album where Barbara Streisand's voice was what made you know people go crazy I would say you have to listen to Songbird and her voice is always beautiful it still is but on this album, there's something very, very pure. And um, in French, you say cristallin, it's crystal-like. So um, uh, this is one of the reasons. The second one is the choice of songs. It's a modern album. This is mid 70s. I think this is 1976, no, 78. Uh, so this is right after A Star Is Born and Superman. This one came right away afterwards and um, uh, so she was at the height of her super stardom and success and everything else you can imagine. But um, th this album wasn't an album that contained a huge, huge number one hit. Songbird was a single and uh, she sings um, uh, Tomorrow uh, is the first song, Tomorrow from Annie, which is a, a famous song. And... Um, and it's the the orchestration is really beautiful. It's really a mix between the symphonic orchestra, which in her 1960s album, the Peter, Peter Matz orchestrations, and then the modern, but not too rock. It's just kind of a little bit mellowed out. Um, there's some beautiful, beautiful uh, poems in this. One song is called The Man That I Loved. Uh, another one is called Honey, Can I Put On Your Clothes? And it's really, really, really beautiful. It's very sexy, it's very evocative, but it's really a beautiful song. And um, <clears throat> then of course she sings I Don't Break Easily and Love Breakdown. Love Breakdown was like a disco song on it. It's the only one that's got a little bit more of a beat to it. And um, um, another beautiful song in, is uh, Deep in the Night, which uh, is just, Again, her voice, the last notes on that song is just 
Whew, absolutely wild. The one miss on this, but it's not really a miss. She sings You Don't Bring Me Flowers as a single. Now, that's what it was at the beginning. It She sang it by herself and um, Neil Diamond sang it by himself. And it was a, a DJ who put them together, uh, mixed them. And then because so many people were asking for, for that duet, which was just made up, they both finally um, went into a recording studio and recorded uh, the duet, which is absolutely magical. Now, it sounds great sung here by Barbara Streisand, but once you've heard the duet, if you're like me, you'll just think the duet is the best. But it still is a beautiful song. Apart from that, it's just um, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. There's a song called One More Night, which just has a tiny bit of a country sound to it, a little bit of that guitar-y country uh, sound. But in all in all, it's 10 magnificent tracks of a modern, uh, up-tempo, upbeat uh, singer who you could think it was like a new artist. And uh, if you hear her, you just think, wow, you know, she just, that's what's so extraordinary with Barbara is that she is able to uh, break away from all that she's done without ever abandoning it and then just making something completely new. So to uh, people who are fans, you just keep being more and more surprised. And for people who discover her with this album, like a lot of people did, it, you just think, wow, that's, you know, she can't sing any other way because it's just so perfect. But that's her um, whole spectrum. She can do everything. So here's an album I highly, highly recommend. And it hasn't aged one bit. It's 1978. So it's a couple of years old and it's just it's just absolutely perfect. I, I did a picture of um, holding my mother's poodle in my arms, trying to do recreate this picture. I was 15 at the time, I think. Um, if I find it, I'll put it here, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Have a great time and listen to Barbara and listen to Songbird. Oh, and the title track is Songbird. It's the last song on the album and it is just absolutely beautiful. And she does um, what I love is she duets with herself. You know, she, it's two voices and that's really, really magnificent. I'll see you soon and we'll talk about some more Barbara Streisand albums.